back out in the world, just near Donington on Bay in Cabwell Park. And uh, yeah, I've just been to Cabwell Park, had a bit of a little look around, and decided now to get the bike out and go for a ride around. And uh, a massive pile of crap over there. Might be crap. Super impressive. Super high. I bet the view up there is spectacular. Well, there we are, I'm at Cabwell at the moment. Just thought I'd stop off and see what the fun was all about. Make use of the car park as well. It's track day at Cabwell today, so uh, I think these, these chaps pay to uh, yeah bring their cars out for uh, for a rat around Capwell. And there's a couple of uh, here's one now. This is the one what I've got my eye on this little yellow Porsche. <laughs> really good fun though. Some part of crap over there. Might be crap. Might just be dirt. Smells like crap. We've got Bell One over there in the far distance. And over there, I've got the radar tower, which is where I'm heading to. So I'm gonna yeah, just do a couple of miles just to uh, you know keep it fresh. Very cold out today. Needing much better, so that's good. Certainly is a pretty day. A little bit nippy, but I'm sure I'll be fine. Sure is big. Now, I don't think you can get to it anymore. I mean, it's behind someone's house now, and it's all fenced off, but uh, you can still see plenty of it from the road. I think you'll agree, that is one hell of a structure. That is a big old thing. And of course we've got the platform, so we've got two on the, uh, on the base level legs there, look. And then there's steps all the way to the next ones. wonder what they do with that. That's crazy, isn't it? That really is quite tall. It doesn't look that bad from a distance, but when you get up and close to it, that is absolutely huge. I bet the view up there is spectacular. And of course, it's only a stone's throw away from Belmont as well, which is uh, just over there. We'll visit that next, I think. Well, actually, no, we'll go to Donington on Bain, I think, first, then we'll, uh, we'll come back, uh, you know, I'll come back uh, Belmont way that way. But yeah, this is fascinating. I don't know if we can get any closer, because it's all fenced off here, but... Uh, you can pretty much tell, yeah, it's a uh, danger. These sort of things should be sort of preserved a little bit better, I think, because it is, it is in tip-top condition, really, when you look at it. We've got a big old guide there as well. Fascinating. Right, let's get, uh, let's get moving, because the daylight's going. <laughs> oh, 
Wow, that's quite impressive. See, you can really tell from the uh, from that second platform level how high it goes up. That must be scary at the top. I think if you have a look on YouTube, I did see this is some time ago. I don't know if it's still online. There was a there was a chap who actually yeah uh, he, uh, he climbed all the way to the top of that and took some pictures with his GoPro. I think, but it's uh, very scary. Right, well that's uh, a little bit of history. <laughs> Fantastic stuff though. It really is quite impressive, I think. And it is such good condition as well, which is unusual, isn't it? And of course we've got Belmont just over there. No mistake though, they've obviously picked the, uh, the locations because it is the highest one of the highest positions in the Lincolnshire Wolds and does cover all the way uh, down to the south of the county. Just a little bit warmer, <laughs> I'll be very happy. I do believe we're going to be turning right just here. Yeah, we've got Stenny got down on the left. And of course, we're going this way. Dug out my uh, Jublos Evade Wands. These are the heads up display uh, cycling glasses. Well, they do all sorts as well, but yeah, I use them for cycling. And uh, at the moment, uh, I'm not sure if it's accurate or not, but I can tell it's quarter past three. I'm doing, uh, well, that's wrong, 11.6 miles an hour, allegedly. Well, it might be right. And uh, I've been rolling for about, what, 30 minutes in a bit, which sounds about right as well. But yeah, it's. Uh, it's quite a nice little pair of glasses, I must admit. These ones come with the little uh, elastic straps around the back, so the straps onto the back of the head. I don't know if you can see at the back there. Might not be. But I don't know about you, but that really, really sort of gives you a bit more firm support with the glasses. So they're not going to wibble off or fall off or become loose and irritate. It just sticks out so intrusively, doesn't it, when you look at it from here. I bet these guys in Donington and Bain don't bat an eyelid at all when it comes to looking at Belmont anymore. There we go, that's Belmont. Super impressive, super high. Looks a bit different from the last time, I don't know what's going on there. Highly impressive. Fitness wise, I think I'm doing extremely well. Not many miles today, but uh, a bit of variety. And I think that's, that's key for me at the moment. And it's trying to make the most of as many short miles as possible. It's not about the miles, it's about making the most of the miles you can do. I mean, I think I've only done about six so far. I've done a little bit more because I didn't put the GPS on when I left Cabwell. But uh, I'm not really that bothered. But uh, yeah, small miles are just, uh, it's just making them, making them count really. I mean, uh, I've seen some wonderful things. Cabwell was good fun. And obviously the aerials were fantastic as well. Especially the Stanley got one which is over there at the moment. And of course, we've got uh, Belmont somewhere behind me with the sun going down. Right, I think I've only got about another mile and a half, maybe two miles, and then it's a right turn 
back to Cadwell. Oh dear. It looks like we're going down. Going down normally means having to go back up again. I thought I've already done the climbing. <laughs> oh there, yeah, that's uh, that's what I was hoping to avoid. Ah, oh well. Well, there we go. Thank you very much for viewing today. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I right, have. It's been great fun, and it's been nice weather as well. Uh, warmed up quite nicely in the end. Uh, yeah. I'm getting better, I think, so uh, slowly but surely. It's not always about the miles, it's about what you do with the miles, I think. And uh, yeah, anyway, I'll stop waffling on. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.